Good morning students. Today we are going to see the chapter Fiber to Fabric. Variety in Fabrics. We can see various types of fabrics around us. These items are bed sheets, blankets, curtains, tablecloth, towels, dusters, etc. They are made up of various kinds of fabrics. Now, we find that a fabric is made up of yarns arranged together. What are these yarns made up of? So, dear friends, we are going to see the process of making the fabric. Now, first of all, about the fiber from which the fabric is made. Fiber is a thin strand, thin strand of a thread or filament like structure. Fabrics are made up of the yarns and yarns are further made up of fibers. That means if we say fibers are converted into yarns and yarns are converted or spun into cloth or fabric. The fibers are of two types, natural and man-made. Natural fibers are obtained from plants and animals. Man-made fibers are also called as artificial or synthetic fibers. Here, synthetic fibers or man-made fibers are for example polyester, nylon, acrylic, rayon, etc. Now, some plant fibers. First is the cotton. Where does this cotton wool come from? Dear friends, have you seen the cotton? Yes, in our region, we can see the fields full of cotton plants. Now, these cotton plant needs black soil and warm climate which our region has. The fruits of the cotton plants are about the size of a lemon. After maturing, the balls burst open and the seeds covered with the cotton fibers can be seen. Processing of cotton. These balls are usually picked by hands and the fibers are then separated from the seeds by combing. This process is also called as ginning. Ginning was traditionally done by hands. Nowadays, it is done by machines also. That means ginning can be done by hands as well as machines. Spinning cotton yarns. The process of making yarns from the fiber is called spinning. In this process, the fibers are drawn out and twisted, twisted together to make a stronger fiber. Now this can be handmade and also can be made by the or with the help of machine. Spinning of the yarn on a large scale is done with the help of a spinning machine. After spinning, the yarns are used for making fabrics. So this device, one of the device is also called as charkha. Now yarn to fabric, the last step. These, there are many ways by which the fabrics are made from yarns. The two main processes are weaving and knitting. All of us know that by weaving, the fabrics are made. Now the first step, weaving. A fabric is made up of two sets of yarn arranged together. The process of arranging two sets of yarns together to make a fabric is called as weaving. Weaving is done on looms. Either it is operated by hand or by the power loom. Knitting. The next fabric that we get by knitting. In knitting, a single yarn is used to make a piece of fabric. Knitting is done by hand and also on the machines. Weaving and knitting are used for making different kinds of fabrics. These fabrics are used for a variety of clothing items. History of clothing material. Now, how does 
the cloth or the fabric came in ancient time we know that people used the bark or the big leaves of the trees or the animal skin to cover themselves after the people began to settle in the agriculture communities they learned to weave the twigs and grass into mats and baskets and slowly they learned to weave into the clothes early indian wore fabrics made out of cotton that grew in the regions near the river ganga next material is the flax flax is also a plant that gives natural fibers you might have heard about the flax jute hemp these are also natural fibers in ancient egypt cotton as well as flax were cultivated near the river nile now here is the flow chart which shows how the process of making the fiber to fabric comes cotton rolls by ginning process are converted into fiber fiber is processed into yarn by spinning when these yarns are made then the fabric can be made through knitting and weaving knitting and weaving are the two methods for making the cloth or the fabric so dear students these are all about the process of making the fiber into fabric thank you